uh, thank you very much for, to be here. And uh, what I'd like, like to talk is on evaluation of some large-scale intervention in Brazil. I will show quickly three examples and then to do some remarks on this, uh, based on this accumulate experience. Yeah. I would like to start say that I'm an epidemiologist and you use a lot uh, the, the concept of evaluation, sometimes different from economists and the other groups, but uh, I think you are, have the same objective. And then I'd like to start with this uh, remark of Dr. Costin, say the importance of evaluation. And then I start with uh, an example that you had opportunity to, to evaluate in Salvador. Salvador is a large city in Brazil, with 2.5 million inhabitants. And Salvador was, during some time, there was a huge investment on improving sanitation in Salvador. And this was an important and a very interesting challenge to evaluate the impact of this intervention. And this took a long time took a, a lot of a, a big group of people thinking how to do that, how to best way to evaluate and to take experience from that, that thing. Because despite that sanitation, we start in the, the idea that sanitation is good for health. It comes from the 19th century. Yeah, there are very few evaluation yeah, on the effect of sanitation on health. Yeah? Mainly the Latin America approach that uses sewers, yeah? complex sewers in urban environment, and then there is very few example. And then uh, uh, after build up complex models, uh, very difficult analysis, very complex system of measurement, nah, you arrive to very simple and uh, but very strong uh, Result, yeah. The, the, the sanitation in Salvador was capable to reduce 20% uh, diarrhea prevalence, yeah, and uh, also more than 50% different kind of uh, intestinal helminths. Another example, uh, see, uh, economic evaluation of the system, yeah, show how, yeah, using not only a cost effectiveness but a more complex approach to. Uh, uh, economic evaluation show that the population was very keen yeah, of this system. Yeah? They, they accept well, they want that. There was a lot of advantage yeah, of that the sanitation uh, system yeah, give to, to the normal people in the peripheric areas of the city. Another, another big program in Brazil is the Family Health Program. Yeah? This started some years ago. Yeah? Uh, quickly developed in Brazil, now is cover a great part of the, the country, yeah, more near 6, 6, 5 percent of our population is covered by, by the family health program, yeah, and it started also uh, based on the WTO principle of your Alma Ata meeting, yeah, that stressed the importance of primary health care. And you had the opportunity, you have had opportunity with your other groups in Brazil to evaluate the impact of this program on infant mortality, morbidity, and the other outcomes. Here you see some results on the infant mortality. Now you see that the areas with more consolidated uh, family health program have an important reduction. Yeah? in infant mortality. Né? This reduction is in diarrhea mortality, pneumonia mortality. The, the, this impact is higher yeah, in areas that are more have lower uh, or great poverty, yeah? then show in some way the, the success of the program and the effects. Uh, another thing that you had opportunity to evaluate is the uh, conditional cash transfer program in Brazil, the Bolsa Familia. Né? Bolsa Familia is linked with the health system, yeah, you program a saúde da familia through the health conditionalities. Né? You build up a model that connects these two programs and you try to evaluate the impact. Yeah? You see here uh, some of these effects. Yeah? Uh, the, 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 the Bolsa Familia program had a, a, an effect on the, on the decrease in infant mortality, yeah? also infant hospitalization, on infant mortality due to diarrhea, due to do, do pneumonia, and the other causes. And they have an independent effect of the family health program. Yeah? And the, the two together possible uh, 
booster the effect yeah, on health, yeah, the one act upon health and another act upon the social determinants of health. Yeah, from this, this, this find, I'd like to, to, to put some remark for debates. Yeah? First, large scale intervention are implemented by political decision. Yeah? Well informed and science based intervention have a great chance of success, then uh, the importance of this kind of a discussion. Yeah? Well designed and co well conducted evaluative studies are an important resource aiming to measure and disentangle the effects of different intervention. Now, in the modern world, you have several interventions at the same time yeah, that act upon uh, the, the human beings. Yeah? Then how to understand how this work is part of uh, our scientific challenge. Yeah? A uh, child health outcome it has multiple causes and it could be the effect of multiple intervention factors. It is it's a necessary task to develop a clear framework and complex study designs and analysis. Yeah, while cost effectiveness is an important, the public perception of the benefits of the, of the program is crucial. To understand the context where the intervention occurs is an important part of the evaluative task and to implement similar intervention in other contexts. To have a national information systems and databases that collect and keep good quality routine administrative data on process and outcomes are crucial to the large scale evaluative efforts. This is an important thing that I think differentiates Latin America from other developing parts of the world. In general, in Latin America, uh, in the, the health side, the, there was a lot of improvement yeah, in administrative registration of outcome and the process, and the, the, it has been very, very much important to this large-scale kind of evaluation. Okay, thank you very much.